What's up, Sushis? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back on Arm Wrestle Simulator, and I'm going to give you guys all the best tips so you guys can get as OP as I am inside of the game. And if you guys just started the game, I'll give you guys some tips as well for beginners. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this. So first thing first, the best thing to train inside of the spawn world, the very first air you can get is going to be Knuckles, okay? So you guys are going to want to punch the punching bags if you have VIP. That is is going to be the best thing to punch if not you guys can punch this one as well but punching for knuckles is the best thing in the starter area now once you get enough strength you can go ahead and start defeating the bully and once you get enough wins you can actually go ahead and start getting these eggs now you can get some really good pets from these eggs so make sure you guys do go ahead and get some pets right as you start the game this way you can get a lot more strength and once you get a lot more strength try to defeat defeat the best boss and you'll be able to enter into the next area now I do want to show you guys the best game passes that you should get in the game and as well as another tip so once you go ahead and start the game and stuff obviously you're not gonna have game passes but if you have robux and you want to buy some game passes VIP is definitely worth it you get three times training earnings which is really good I would also say make sure you guys do get the double hand strength and all of the double game passes you can get. I'm pretty sure there's a game pass for each of these. There's double hand, double bicep, and double knuckle. So buy all three of those and you guys will be earning tons of strength, okay? Double wins is also a really good game pass because obviously you're going to be getting double wins. So when you have to go ahead and defeat these guys, it is going to help you out a lot because, well, I can't you guys because my pets are really good so i'm not too sure how much this actually gives i guess the first guy only gives one win so you would end up getting two wins i think is how that would work also if you guys can get the lucky game passes make sure to get all of those as well because you will be able to hatch some better pet and then the last thing i would say if you have enough robux go ahead and buy this game pass right here this is the best game pass you can get in the entire game you literally get a hundred thousand basically a hundred thousand of every single potion that means for the entire time you play this game forever, you're always going to be getting double money. You're always going to be getting a golden potion. You're always going to have a void potion and you're always going to have a luck potion, guys. It's really OP. Make sure you guys buy this if you have the Robux to do so. But yeah, that is all of the best tips for the starter world. Now we're going to go ahead and escape the school and we're going to head inside of the gym. So for the gym area, you actually unlock some new stuff again for the gym you're going to want to train up your knuckles again it's the best thing for the gym so again if you have vip go ahead and do the vip if not train this one now once you're actually inside of this area you unlock the golden machine which you can use to you know make your arms as well as your pets golden which is going to help you out a lot so make sure you guys do that and if you guys see, um, I'm going to show you guys the next area. We can't actually do that yet. That's for the next area. Also, make sure you guys are trying to get some arms as well. If you do end up beating the uh, bosses and you get some of these keys and crates, make sure you are buying these because arms do help out a lot. So you want to make sure you're always going for the best arm you can get and, uh, you know, equipping that. And also make sure you're going for rebirths, of course. I hope everyone knows that. Make sure you get as many rebirths as you can it's gonna help you out a lot and once you can do a super rebirth make sure you do your super rebirths as well because you can get extra pets equipped as well as enchant luck and just luck in general to get some better pets so make sure you guys are doing that um but yeah let's go ahead and head out of here so like i said make sure you guys train up your knuckle strength get some better pets in this area basically repeat what you did in the last area but once we get to the beach this is when it gets a little bit crazy okay so in this area you actually unlock the void machine which you can use to make your pets into a void tier really good okay so definitely make sure you are using that machine now in this area it gets a little bit different okay so i think in this area
area. It's also going to be knuckle. I think the three first areas are heavily knuckle based. I'm pretty sure if in the comments you guys know which one's better for this area, just let me know. But I think all three of these first starter worlds are knuckles. So in this area as well, just go ahead, train up your knuckle strength, get some better pets. Now in this area, we actually have an event going on. So once you're strong enough, you can actually defeat this beach boss, right? The Kraken boss, you need 2.5 QA, and you can actually AFK grind uh, killing this boss by going ahead and auto fighting and then doing the Kraken boss. Now, if you do this in an entire night, you'll make around about 1,500, 2,000, even more of these eggs, right? So you have a chance at opening these. Now look at some of these pets you can get, right? You can get this pet with best friend five, which is gonna help you out so much. And it also does 10,000, which is really good for this area, I'm pretty sure. And if you get even luckier, you can even get the huge Lava Titan, which has 100,000 stats, and it has best friend friend six, which is really OP. Okay. It's the second best friend enchant. You can also get this one, which is best friend seven, but that one does cost Robux, which is again, it would be really OP if you had this, but that is Robux of course. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get, but yeah, make sure you guys are getting these eggs and trying to get these two pets right now. It's completely free to play to get those and they'll definitely help out a lot. So now once you trained up in that area, head into the nuclear bunker and for this area, it actually changes. For this area, you're gonna wanna use this barbell, the biggest barbell you can get for 6 million strength. And this is actually the best way to train up inside of this area. So make sure you guys are using the barbell, okay? As you guys can see, I make 300 trillion strength, which is pretty decent, okay? So for that area, like I said, make sure you guys do train up barbell. Obviously, go ahead and get some wins and get the best pets you can get. Now, once you start getting to this area, I would suggest you guys try to form some teams. Now, I have two teams, and I swap back and forth with both these. I have a team strictly for wins, and what you guys want to do for your wins team is form an entire team of just any pets. They could be trash pets. I would personally go for the worst pets you can hatch, probably the starter pet, and then just get winner, winner, four, and five on all of your pets. Try to go for winner, winner, five, of course, but if you can't, get winner, winner, four, and that is going to help you get tons and tons of wins, guys, and I'll just show you guys how much extra wins you get so if we head inside of the best area real quick i'm going to show you guys how much difference of wins you actually get so if i'm just using my strength team right now which is the team i have on i'm going to go ahead and defeat the tribe leader just so it's a little bit faster so if we defeat this, you guys can see that we get a total of 24. I don't know what that number is, but we get 24 of it. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and put my wins team on and we defeat the same boss, look at how much we actually get. So we got 24 last time. We're getting 202 now. So that is a huge increase. You want to make sure you start forming these wins teams as well as the strength teams. For the strength teams, you're just gonna wanna put best friend five, best friend six, best friend seven, the best ones you can get on your team. But yeah, let's head back to bumper, uh, bunker. So like I said, guys, make sure you guys are going for the uh, d barbell and then go ahead, train up the bosses, obviously get your best pets and then head on inside of the bunker. So now once we're here, it actually changes. You're gonna wanna try to get as much knuckle strength as you can from the last area. I would probably AFK for a full night, just get as much strength as you can and for this area the best thing to train is actually going to be these walls and that's only if you can one punch them right now i cannot one punch them because i haven't trained up my knuckle strength so if you can't defeat these walls with one punch there is a little bit of a glitch you can do you can put on hands this way you are getting your hand strength and then if you head back and actually get the barbell and head back you'll be afk training with your um with your uh hand strength as well as his barbell 
And then you actually get tons and tons of strength because you can AFK it like that and not have to basically keep clicking. So that is what I use to get tons of strength since I currently can't defeat the walls. But in this area, you guys are going to want to try to get a full team of these gem triceratopses or the gem T-Rex. I haven't got lucky enough to get any of these. But once you do, these pets are insanely OP. As you guys can see, um, if I do have one on my team, yeah, these do 756,000 strength. You're definitely going to want to get these on your team. Also, make sure you guys are putting on your best trail that you can. It is going to help out a lot. You get a 250% strength boost as well as a 95% boost. And also make sure you guys are getting your strength timer up to the max of 120% on the bottom left down here. That will give you a really huge boost to getting strength. But other than that, also make sure you guys are claiming your daily rewards and your season pass rewards because those will help out a lot. And also, if you guys haven't already gotten the free luck game pass, there is a free luck game pass where you can get the game pass for free. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope this helps you guys out. And if you guys have any other suggestions to help people out, put them down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, the comments will help you guys as well with some other stuff I didn't go ahead and cover. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow.